Hey guys, in this video we will learn level order traversal of a binary tree. We will start by breaking down the algorithm step by step, then walk through an example to see it in action. I will also share some lead code problems you can practice to master this traversal algorithm, so stay tuned. In a level order traversal, we start at the root and move level by level. At each level, we explore every node from left to right before moving down to the next level. To perform level order traversal, the ideal data structure to use is a queue. Because queue follows the FIFO first in first out principle and it lets us process each node in the order we encounter it, allowing us to visit each level of the tree before moving on to the next. Here is what it looks like in code. Here I am using Java, but you can find a code for other popular programming languages in my GitHub repository called Awesome Lead Code Resources. We start by adding the root node in the queue. While the queue is not empty, we remove the front node from the queue and print it. If the node has a left child or a right child, add them to the queue. In level order traversal, adding the left child first allows us to maintain the left to right order for each level. The time complexity of level order traversal is O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. This is because each node is visited exactly once and we perform a constant amount of work for each node. The space complexity depends on the structure of the tree and the maximum number of nodes at any level. In the worst case, the space complexity is also O of n. This is because at the most, we may need to store an entire level of nodes in the queue at once. Let's go through a step-by-step -step example with our sample tree to see how this works. Start by adding the root node 1 to the queue, dq1 and print it, nq is left child 2 and its right child 3, dq2 and print it, nq is left child 4 and its right child 5, dq3 and print it, nq only its right child 6 since there is no left child, dq4 and print it, node 4 has no children so we move to the next node in the queue, dq5 and print it, node 5 has no children so we move to the next node in the queue which is 6, dq6 and print it. Node 6 has no children and the queue is now empty, so the traversal is complete. The level order traversal of this tree is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just as expected. Now that you understand level order traversal, here are some lead code problems you can practice to apply what you have learned and master this approach. If you found this video helpful, you will also like my newsletter, where I write articles on DSA and system design every week. You can subscribe it at blog.algomaster.io. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.